Ladies and gentlemen, I'm about to enter Lake Las Vegas, and today I'm going to show you all the ins and outs of this neighborhood, all the pros and cons. Is this the right neighborhood for you to live in? I'm going to show you all the new construction homes that are available. And uh, the goal is to give you the most comprehensive video of Lake Las Vegas, uh, explaining a little bit the history of this place, what kind of builders build out here, the amenities, the pros and cons, school districts, stores, convenience, and all that stuff that you can get here in this beautiful village. Now, my name is Jack Graham. I'm a realtor. If you guys are new to the channel, I'm a, I represent people uh, buying homes out here in the Las Vegas Valley. And uh, we are today uh, in Henderson. Uh, Lake Las Vegas is a, I would say, village within the Henderson city. As you can see in front of me here, we have a lot of waterfronts. Uh, we have uh, a lot of ponds, golf courses over here to the left. And uh, we're going to be talking about this neighborhood a lot. And hopefully by the end of this video, the goal is to show you everything that is in here, uh, as well as all the homes, and to make you understand, you know, allow you to understand whether or not this is the right place for you to live. So, Lake Las Vegas was built back, you know, it probably goes back about 25 years or so. We have uh, some of the best, uh, you know, builders out here as far as luxury goes. But also we have, uh, you know, the, the, median, uh, the median home price as well out here, around the 400, 500,000. And we're going to go over all those options for you as well. As a matter of fact, as you see over here to the right, we have uh, Lennar, one of the builders, is building these townhomes right behind the mountains. Beautiful single family, family townhomes with uh, lots of amenities. Now, one thing we need to cover about Lake Las Vegas is uh, the fact that this is a unique place in this valley. Okay, We are in the middle of the desert and for whoever you know built this place to make it happen and build a lake in this desert it, it was quite an accomplishment i'll say in fact the the designer the the person that had the idea to build lake las vegas what they did is uh they went to italy they went to lake como and uh that's where they found this beautiful hotel uh you know right off of the lake and they said you know what this is gorgeous this is amazing i love this place i'm gonna go back to las vegas and i'm gonna build this place in las vegas that was his vision many years ago and then what he did is he actually came back and somehow he made it happen and uh here we go we have right here lake las vegas and uh lots of beautiful homes uh, you know a lot of people think that lake las vegas is uh a luxury neighborhood but as a matter of fact, yes, you do have a lot of luxury builders out here, but we do also have some regular homes around four, five hundred thousand dollar price range. And we're going to go and show you all those options. But first, let's go into the village. Let's see what the village has to offer. Right here, over to the right, we have the hotel, which is uh, the Hilton Hotel, and. Um, the Hilton does not offer any gambling. It's not legal here in this master plan community. So, actually, I need to make a U-turn because I took the wrong exit. It's a little bit further up. But um, over here, you know, you don't have any gambling. So th there's a reason why uh, they're doing that. And they're missing out on a lot of money, I'm sure, because of it. But what they're trying to do is trying to make this place exclusive where you know they don't have any issues with because usually when you get gambling you usually get alcohol involved with it you know you get free alcohol at the casino when you gamble and then after the alcohol you know it attracts a certain kind of crowd so here at lake las vegas they're trying to avoid that as much as possible okay and um which is great for the people that live here however for the businesses in here we'll see once we go down into the village it might not be a good idea for them and uh, 
And yeah, so th this place has uh, anything, you know, ranging from $400,000 price range, even in the brand new, you know, in the brand new communities, going up all the way to two, three, four million dollar homes. This is actually a view a little bit from the top of the village. We have a lot of gated communities in this neighborhood, although it's not exclusive to just gated communities. Uh, this is uh, one of those, uh, this is South Shore, which is one of the private communities that they have. And uh, in order to go in there, because it is a private community, and also they have a private golf course as well, you will need to have a certain membership and you need to be part of their, uh, their association and all. So that's part of South Shore, which is, there's two main, uh, <laughs> two main uh, uh, golf courses out here in, uh, in Lake Las Vegas, in addition to all the other amenities. But the first one is South Shore, which is where we were just at, which means we're on the south side of the lake, of the lake that they have in here. And then on the other side, we have uh, Reflection Bay uh, Golf Course, which is the second one. That one is more of the, the public golf course where you can pay a membership to be part of. I believe they have a membership, I think it's something like $10,000 a year or something like that, uh, which uh, it doesn't include other amenities as well. As a matter of fact, there was no entrance from that side. I need to go from this side right here and get to the parking lot so I can go into the village and walk around with you to show you what the village looks like. And after that, we're gonna go over to, on the other side, on the north side, where we have most of the new construction homes. Although we do have some over here on the, on the south side. So what other amenities does Lake Las Vegas offer, right? And uh, we do have golf courses, we have clubhouse, uh, you know, with gym, fitness gym, tennis course, bocce course, all kinds of stuff right this would be the parking lot where people would park to go then to the village at least this is the quickest way i can find to get there so it's actually a free parking this is part of the parking of the of this hotel to the right uh right now i mean we're on a saturday morning it's 10 a.m so there's not going to be as much activity although it's the weekend so it looks like there are quite a few cars here all right, here we are. I just got out of the parking lot right now. We're walking into the village, so we're try gonna try to make it quick. I don't know, I don't wanna get too many people in this video in case they start complaining. Although it is a public place, so. As you can see right here, this is the village. Right now, it's uh, it's early in the morning, so you're not gonna get as many people out here. But this, uh, during the summers especially, or weekends at night, it gets pretty busy. As you can see, we have golf carts here. That is a must if you live out here. It's more of a lifestyle that they embrace where it's one of the few communities in Las Vegas where you can actually drive a golf cart here in the middle of the village or anywhere in Lake Las Vegas. And uh, it's actually legal versus uh, other places where you cannot do that. Let's go over to the director and I'm gonna show you really quick. So this is, uh, this is some of the luxury apartments that they have. Usually people have uh, live here when uh, it, it, as a second home. So this is the parking garage where where I just parked. I came out here from, from right here. I came down this way. We're gonna go towards the lake right now where we're gonna have the, the biggest, you know, the, uh, the place where people uh, mostly hang out across, you know, the South Shore right here. Then over here, this is the Village Marina. This is where you can dock your boats and all that stuff. And you can even uh, rent a boat, a yacht, whatever you want and enjoy the, uh, let's say a weekend on, on the water if you wanted to. Over here we have the Reflection Bay Golf Course, which is on the other side of the community. And then uh, we also have this other uh, place right here, which is connected from this bridge right here. Uh, that goes over the lake that we can go through as a matter of fact and you know what we might actually go through that and show you everything on there and I'm gonna go down here show you a little bit around here and then go back and go up there and then we're gonna go back to the car to show you all the new communities available here in Las Vegas if you want to pause this uh, this video so you can look at you know the the specific restaurants and all that stuff you can go and do that so going down the street over here 
we have some uh, clothing stores, you know, small boutique uh, stores is what we have. It really reminds me of Italy, this place. It does have the Tuscan architecture, as you can see, you know, more of that, uh, you know, Tuscan look on the houses with the colors being more on the browns. Uh, not, not really of a, much of a modern community. As a matter of fact, uh, this place was supposed to be, you know, what, uh, what pretty much Italy is and what Italy encompasses and for the most part Italy is all more of has that uh, traditional look right but once it goes into what happened is a lot of uh, you know luxury builders enter this market and they were able to bring in a different more modern appeal to to the neighborhood in fact we do have some nice new communities by Blue Heron and other builders that are you know giving you more of the modern look There's a, there's a Tokyo social house right there. Over here is where they do the, the bands, events, and stuff like that. <clears throat> on the lake right here. I was here last time, and what they like to do over here is all the people with the golf, cor uh, golf carts, they all park right here, and they get, you know, whoever gets there first gets first bids at watching the show. Uh, the bands just enjoy it you know, enjoy the night and all that stuff. So that's that bridge over here that brings you over to the north side. Uh, it's beautiful in there. You even have some apartments, as you can see. It does resemble a lot that Italian look, you know, with the balconies and all that stuff. Over here to the right, uh, you can see the lake, mountain views over there on, in the, on the horizon. Then we have Luna Rosa over here. There's an ice cream place. It's a beautiful place to just come and hang out. As you can see right here, we do have also uh, boats that you can rent out. There's a yacht right there that you can rent out over there just to enjoy the lake uh, feel out here. And, uh, and yeah, so let me walk a little bit around on this side and then we'll go over onto the other side. We'll try to speed it up a little bit because uh, I wanted to try to keep this video a little bit, you know, shorter for the audience so that you guys don't get too bored. But, you know, this is a great place to walk around, enjoy the, the evening, especially out here uh, when, you know, when you have the, in the summer at night, it's, it's a really nice environment. You have multiple bands playing along here. Very often you see in these hallways, you have other bands coming in and usually they're uh, paid by the restaurants out here to attract people to come in and spend more money. Uh, but as you can see, there's a lot of, there are a lot of shops right here. They're just empty. That the reason behind it is uh, there isn't as much activity in this area as they would desire to do so as they would would like to because what happens is in this uh let's go this way and then we'll go out to the bridge so i can show you a little bit the lake views and all so what happens out here is you know there are a lot of houses you know in this uh in this neighborhood and all but the problem is there isn't enough uh enough there aren't enough people to support the amount of shops and you know how expensive everything is out here like for a business owner for example if you look at it from the financial perspective then uh you know you you have you have issues paying the rent and everything if you don't have enough business coming in and that's been the biggest uh issue with this community as far as all the the businesses right here you have some empty shops right up, right across from the lake which is crazy uh, but hopefully in the future, as they build more homes and they are building more affordable houses, you know, within the 400, 500 price range on the other side, you know, beautiful single stories, uh, there will be more business coming in and uh, allowing these uh, these businesses to thrive in the future. Who knows? Oh, Mimi and Coco. There you go. It's a mystery place. Coffee would be nice right now. All right. Let's go out to the other side. So we're back where we were. Um... But yeah, so what kind of people live here? Uh, who Who is the main buyer of these homes out here in, in Lake Las Vegas? You know what? Yeah, let's go there. And the answer to that is, uh, it's uh, mainly retirees, I would say. Some people that want to be a little bit away from the, the, the main city and uh, 
and they want to, you know, they want to have a, more of a relaxed lifestyle where you don't have as much traffic. And, uh, and give you a, a different feeling, you know, of, uh, uh, you know, this lifestyle completely different where you're just, you know, surrounded by nature, by water, lots of green, which is very unique. You'd be surprised, you know, how they can create something like this in the middle of the desert, right? And, um, and yeah, that's, that's what, uh, that's what the main person that is purchasing this house that is in this community, uh, you know, th those are the main buyers of this uh, community. But uh, there are a lot of people that purchase a home out here as a second home. So uh, they will go ahead and, uh, you know, buy, let's say, one of these luxury apartments, which are very low maintenance, you know, because you don't have a backyard or a front yard to take care of or a roof kind of thing. So you literally just, whenever you want, come out here and have a nice weekend right, across, right off the lake, which is amazing. Now, uh, however, in the recent years, what they've done, and I believe it's also, uh, you know, also a business move, is uh, they're making this a more affordable neighborhood uh, by introducing more, uh, more builders, such as Richmond American Homes, that, you know, came in here and started building, uh, you know, single family homes, Lynn R also building single family homes and townhomes. Uh, and also, uh, you know, other builders, such as Toll Brothers, building more of that luxury product. Blue Heron, again, building the ultra luxury, you know, product. And, uh, and yeah. So, let's go see those builders right now. So we can show you a little bit what they're, you know, what's available out here for you to buy. So, as we get back out on the street, we want to talk a little bit about the pros and cons. We talked about who lives here, you know, what kind of homes a little bit we have, price ranges and all, although we are gonna go into more detail with that. But what are the pros and cons? Well, to get here, it took me approximately 25 to 30 minutes from the 15 and 215 intersection, which are the two major uh, freeways uh, out here in the Las Vegas Valley. So it's pretty much right next to the airport from the airport to here, it took me about 25 to 30 minutes to get here. Now, you gotta understand that, that that wasn't traffic, you know, like rush hour. So during rush hour, and this is one of the cons of living in this neighborhood, during rush hour, we get a lot of traffic on Lake Mead Parkway, which is that street that goes, uh, it's pretty much a continuation of the freeway of the 215 that, that becomes a regular street. And you have all the people going into Henderson and out of Henderson taking all the same streets. Which brings me to my con, which is traffic. You'll get a lot of people during rush hour, pretty much, uh, you know, getting stuck in traffic. It could take probably 40 minutes, 45 minutes now to get from, uh, from the main, you know, from the airport, for example, as a point of reference. Not that it matters. I don't think many people go to the airport that often. This is the Hilton Hotel, by the way. This is where all the athletes come out when they come and stay when they come out here. And uh, so, so yeah, and most people, you know, you're looking at a, a commute to get to the airport, 25 minutes at the and, you know, best time. Uh, going up to maybe, I don't know, there it is, the Hilton. Beautiful. Looks like a Masseria. Masseria is like a big farm in Italy that, you know, is, is turned nowadays into mostly, you know, Airbnbs and things like that, or hotels. Um, but yeah, it, you know, most people, you know, you, you're looking at a commute of 25 minutes at, you know, at least going up to 45 minutes to get out to the city. Now, that is to the center of the city. However, do you have amenities around here next to you, right? And the answer is yes and no. Uh, if you need your daily grocery store shopping, you're probably looking at around, and it's a personal preference right here, right? you know, a personal opinion here, how long that is, but 10, 15 minutes to get to your closest grocery store, which is the Smith's Marketplace over in Cadence, which is out there. 
uh, towards the, you know, towards the city. And that's not bad. You know, you got to go to the grocery store every two days or so and take a 10 minute trip to the, to the store. That's not a big deal, right? Well, here's a Montelago Boulevard, Montelago Boulevard, which is the north side of the lake over there. We're going to go up though. We're going to go out to the, to the north side. This is the bay, the reflection bay. Uh, golf course out here. This is the public one. You got plenty of golfing and all that stuff here, which is awesome. Now, what was I talking about? I was talking about, well, commute, getting to the grocery store, the closest grocery store where you have everything you need. It's a Smith's Marketplace. They just opened it right now in Cadence. At 10 to 15 minutes max, um, which is a great time frame to get to places. And what else? Is there anything else to, you know, that you need? Let's say some people are worried maybe about hospitals and proximity to hospitals. Well, you're going to have to go to Henderson. That's probably a 15 minute drive right there uh, to get to the closest hospital. It's not too bad. You know, the, it's over in downtown Henderson area. But uh, what other amenities, what other things are important to people? And that's where it comes into place. The, the fact that not many families are moving out here. And the simple reason is because of the school districts. School districts right now, the, the school districts that it's zoned for, for the public school district, is, you know, the, the two uh, school districts are over in downtown Henderson as well, which is again about 15, 20 minutes away, depending on traffic. Oh, there's Marbella, single story community. Oh, beautiful. Is that, that's Taylor Morrison. I can't wait for this, uh, for this community to come out. And look at these homes, that Tuscan look, all the views that they get of the mountains. Let me show you. And the lake as well, that's gorgeous. We're gonna go over to get some lake views as well for you guys. Show you some of the best deals. Look at these communities out here, these condos, townhomes. You got it all up here. Now, the school districts are, uh, eh can't really talk about school districts much but what I'm gonna suggest to you is to go to neighborhoodscout.com and look up the school districts the public ones and see what they what they what they are just because as a realtor I'm not supposed to disclose that information and say you know because it might be steering or whatever but this is for information purposes only for entertainment so we're not we're not trying to um, you know give you advice because I don't know your situation but anyway, you go to neighborhoodscout.com and you get all the information as well as crime rates. And that's another one that we have to cover right now. Uh, but before we cover that one, I wanted to talk about, let me show you here this Lennard community, which is beautiful. I was just here the other day. Um, but let's talk about the, the other options for the schools, which is they have some charter schools. This is Amber Rock right here. This They built it, some, uh, some single family homes by rich American homes. About 450s or so is what these were selling for. Then we have Strata and the single stories by Richmond. Strata, that's uh, Blue Heron. So they're building these luxury homes, two, three million dollars up here on this mountain. And then over on this side, we have single stories, beautiful collection by Richmond American Homes. These are going for about 500 to 600. We also have some lots on top of the mountain over there. You see those, those homes up there? They have some beautiful views. Going for about 700 or so with the lot premium in them. Um, what else? This is Marble Mesa, by the way. So the, the school districts, however, yes, the, the public ones are not as desirable, but if you look at the, the charter ones, they have some really good charter schools. Uh, they're one of the tops, the top schools in, in Nevada. Uh, you look at Pinecrest, uh, you know, Academy, you have uh, some other ones, but Pinecrest is one of the ones that, you know, Legacy you have. Uh, there's another one, I forgot the name of it but some really nice, uh, really good school districts that have some really good ratings. And again, you go into neighborhoodscout.com and you can see that, or you can, and then you can see what schools it is part of. And then from there, you can go over to usnews.com, which is one of the websites I use with my clients to go and search the school specifically to see what the school, uh, you know, ratings are and how it ranks based on the other Nevada schools. I want to show you some lots here that they have available. Just beautiful. These are one, we're going up in elevation here quite a bit, by the way. Here's Lennar. You see, Lennar, for example, is one of the examples of the more modern look coming into place here. Look at this. These homes are 
going anywhere between 600,000 up to 800,000. Up to a million even if you get a, a lake view that I'm gonna show you right now. Look at this modern look though, a little bit more boxy, you know, simple, mixing a little bit of stacked stone in the front, which looks nice. And, um, and yeah, so what was I saying about the schools? Uh, you know, you can go in there and you can check them out. Now, what about crime rates? How are we doing on crime? That's another thing that you can check out on, on neighborhoodscout.com. It, it looks like it's a promotion. <laughs> I'm doing a promotion for Neighborhood Scout, but <laughs> no, that's not the case. Um, well, what, what they do in that, in that on the website is they give you all the data you need, which is I cannot, uh, you know, talk about crime rates and all that stuff. So you can check it out on there. But crime rates, if you look at uh, Henderson as a city in general, we have one of the lowest crime rates in the, in the United States. There are a few charts that rank the, all the cities in the United States as far as safest and when it comes to crime. And Henderson usually ranks in the top three cities in the United States as far as safety and break-ins and level of crime activity. So Lake Las Vegas being more of a luxury place, it is even better. It's one of the safest places probably in the United States, one of the safest neighborhoods to live in. And here's why I came here. I wanted to show you this beautiful, the beautiful views that you can get if you buy a home out here. You also have some lakefront homes. Blue Heron building some homes down there, right down in that area. But this is the north side of the lake, by the way, right there. And then you have South Shore. As you can see, the village was over there. Uh, let me see in this video where it is. Okay, it's, it's right there. The, uh, the south shore you see how big this lake is you have homes all across the south side right there going all around and then they still have to build all of this area on the north side so i'm guessing when we get all these homes built and people move in that's going to bring a lot of activity to this place uh, because obviously we're still probably like 75 percent built maybe maybe a little bit more 80 percent built we're still missing all this north side right here which is huge see how many homes so left and there's even more in the back and then all over here we have also on this side some luxury homes you see they're prepping right there before blue heron to build look at those homes by richmond going into that nook in the mountain isn't that gorgeous that'd be a nice lifestyle to have now as far as uh crime rates uh, we've we talked about that we're pretty much one of the safest neighborhoods in town what else about uh, Lake Las Vegas that, that, is, that is good? Well, one of the things is, and this is uh, a lot of people are deterred by this, it's the uh, HOA fees. That is, could be seen as a pro or a con. I mean, if you're coming from Los Angeles, ways out here might not feel like they're much. In fact, for the, for the, for Lake Las Vegas, the HOAs are $133 per month. That's that's what it comes down to, which is about $400 quarterly. That's you pay them actually quarterly, but it amounts to about $133 per month. Now, on top of that, you'll have a second HOA. For example, here at Lennar, they have a second HOA, which is approximately uh it's going to be about 50 dollars per month so it's 150 something like that quarterly uh quarterly means every three months okay so you're gonna well actually it's a little bit more about 70 per month or so uh so you're gonna be averaging the average neighborhood here is going to have about 220 dollars per month as far as hoas but if you have a more expensive neighborhood, a neighborhood that offers more amenities, such as uh, the one that we're gonna go see next, which is Pulte. They have a retirement community, for example, with an active adult um, community, which by the way is, is amazing. Uh, they have so many great amenities in there, such as uh, heated pool, um, you know, spas, or clubhouse, gym, yoga, all kinds of activities for active adult activities then the HOA is going to be more expensive you're probably going to average for that house about $400 total per month including the Lake Las Vegas HOA fees and some people think that that's a lot however once you see what you're getting here you're living in one of the most unique places in the United States you are in a desert on a lake 
in a beautiful community like this one, created and inspired by an Italian lake, Lake Como, and executed, I would say, you know, executed in an excellent way. I mean, you don't get you, you don't get this here in Las Vegas. If you want to live in Las Vegas because of the, uh, you know, incentives and everything that you get by living here, such as zero state income taxes, uh, desert weather, uh, desert weather, which is beautiful, you know, uh, it's beautiful pretty much year round other than the summer. So you have two, three months in the summer that are pretty hot. Other than that, you have a beautiful weather, great, you know great place to live for sure and but you want to live in something more green and all that stuff then this is the place where you want to be lake las vegas is the exception to las vegas now let's see what else do we need to we're now on the we're almost here at toll brothers they have some kind of, there's a blue heron right there with kalisa kalisa is a luxury built beautiful by the way with with lake views and all that stuff there it is right there, Kaliza. And these are the homes. As you can see, more of that square look, the, the beautiful architecture, more modern style homes with the lake views just underneath. This is what you want. And they're building some of these where you can even buy one of these lots down there. Uh, I'm gonna show you in a second. For probably about like five, 600,000, up to a million, depending on which lot you can get. And you can build your own house on here. You can build this nice, modern style home, okay? And um, and yeah, so let's go over here. I'll show you Toll Brothers, where all these builders are at. Like Toll Brothers is selling them for about one to 1.2 million total, uh, if you get a nice lake view. And then you have Pulte, as low as 400. I just had a client that got on the contract over there with Pulte in the retirement community. It costs them, it was like four, 425 for a house out the door. It was a small, you know, 1,500 square feet single story, but beautiful with the lake views as well. That's pretty impressive, you know. Here it is. Right here we have uh, Toll Brothers. This is the uh, Toll Brothers. It's called Bella Strada, this neighborhood. And literally, they haven't even built the model homes yet, uh, but this is where they're all building. And you see the lake is right there. You won't get necessary lake views unless you buy a house up on these lots right here with Toll Brothers. And then you'll get that lake view. Um, what else? We have to finish talking about pros and cons. So HOAs, which could be a pro or con depending on how you see it. Uh, golf course access, amenities, and all that good stuff. Uh, I would say the pro is also the fact that you're a little bit on the outskirts and it could be a con for a lot of people because they don't want to commute. If you are more of that person that wants to be close to all the restaurants and all that stuff and go out and eat a different place every night, then this is not the place for you. But if you're looking for something a little bit more on the remote side, you work from home, you don't go and you don't commute to work out to the strip, this might be a great place. Look at those lots. This is all going to be built right here by Toll Brothers on the right side. They all prepped all the lots already. They're going to build this community for probably the next two to three years. And then up onto the left, we have Pulte with the retirement community, the active adult, which is great as well. And look at all those lots up there. And those are going to be, uh, I believe it's Blue Heron building up there. Uh, or it might be actually Lenar. I, I just need to look into that one again because uh, it's not up for sale or anything. Nothing is up for sale yet. They just prepped the land right now. And there's gonna have some gorgeous views of the lake over here to the right. So, so yeah, I mean, being a little bit on the outskirts, having, uh, you know, that kind of lifestyle. Uh, outdoors activities, I almost forgot about this one. Look at that, people just walking around during the day, just enjoying the beautiful days that we have here in Las Vegas with all the green and all that stuff. That happens only, I mean, you have so many activities out here uh, that you can you can be part of, you know. You can buy a boat and put a boat on the dock and just go out there and just, you know, go into the lake and have a great day. You know, outdoors activities, you can do golfing, you can do, 
uh, bache, bache, you know, playing all kinds of tennis, anything you want, or, you know, riding bicycles in here. It's just an amazing place to live overall uh, for outdoors activities. So yeah, that I think is gonna sum it up for now. But if I remember something else right now, while we end this video almost, I'll let you know. By the way, if you haven't done so already, guys, hit that like button if you like these kind of videos. It really helps push out this video to more people that hopefully are looking to buy a home. And if they find this uh, information valuable to them, they can reach out to me as a realtor out here in Las Vegas that helps out people move to Las Vegas. Uh, that's what I specialize in. And I, and I help clients guide them through all the builders available out in Lake Las Vegas or anywhere in the valley. As a matter of fact, I sell anything when it comes to Las Vegas, Henderson, North Las Vegas, uh, you know, here in Lake Las Vegas, anywhere you want to live in Las Vegas Valley. Uh, I'm an expert when it comes to, to, this, to this place as I lived here for the last 11 years of my life. And this would be the web, which is the retirement community by Pulte Homes. We have some beautiful, uh, beautiful, you know, gated community with lots of activities. That is the clubhouse up there on top of that mountain. Gorgeous. Um, they have so many things going on in there. If I start, it won't end. So this video will never end. So that's why I need to cut it short and go out to, to the next place. Now, what do you guys think of Lake Las Vegas? Let me know down in the comments. I want to know what you think of this neighborhood. Is this a place where you would live or not? Uh, if you would change something to this, to this place, what would you change? And um, what are the negative things? If you live here, what are the negative things of living here? What are the positive things? We would love to see, hear your, your insight because at the end of the day, you know, the people that are looking at, you're watching this video are most likely looking to move into this neighborhood to possibly purchase a home. So your insight as someone that lives here and experiences this place day in, day, day out, would really, really help anybody out there that is looking to, to buy and is watching this video and then goes to the comments to see, hey, let's see what people say about this video and you know if there's any kind of feedback. So really, really uh, incentivize anybody, you know, covering that, you know, going out there and leaving a comment uh, in the, down below in the comments uh, but that's gonna be it I think for this video uh, there's not much more to show you uh, this is this was kind of a review of Lake Las Vegas I hope this gave you some insights on what it is like you know the, the, the neighborhood uh, what it is like to live here as far as amenities giving you like an in-person look on the ha on the on the place that's me just driving around um, and also uh, you know if you guys are looking to purchase a home You'll have two links down in the description, one for resale homes, one for, one for new homes, where we can get you, you know, any house out on the market. As a realtor, I represent all buyers all across uh, the, the whole market. So uh, check that out. And then, uh, you know, you got to consider if you're moving here to Las Vegas, you have to be willing to spend at least $500,000 on a house. Maybe you can be in the four, at least 400, I would say, depending on the house size and all those things. But the low end, you're probably going to spend about 400,000, okay? Even for a townhome or for a small single story home. If you get one of those luxury condos over on the lake, those are going to be six, seven hundred thousand because, and they have really high HOAs, about a thousand bucks a month because they do a lot of things. But it's, you know, more of a second home kind of, kind of feeling. Um, here's the Westin, by the way. This is the Las Vegas Resort and Spa. Again, no gambling in here. Right off the lake as well, this one. Beautiful location. Lots of trails here, as you can see, people walking dogs day in, day out. And just gorgeous, up right off of the golf courses on the North Shore here. And, um, and yeah, if you guys... Uh, if I said something wrong also, let me know down in the comments. Let me know what you what I said wrong. But I'm going to make my way out right now of this neighborhood. I hope uh, you appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already for more videos like these. There's some more golfing right there. Nice. Look at the scenery though with the mountains. I mean, where do you get this really? 
Where do you get golfing on water right next to the mountains in a desert climate like this? I don't think there's anything, but if there's anything, let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.